Hi, welcome to Organic Chemistry Classes. Organic Chemistry is nothing but Chemistry of Carbon Compounds. Organic Compounds are Compounds of Carbon. Organic Compounds are Compounds of Carbon. And the Chemistry of it, that is uh, Synthesis, Behavior of the Compounds of Carbon is nothing but Organic Chemistry. In this family, the first member is considered to be Alkanes. Right? Alkanes are nothing but Hydrocarbons. Are basically, first members are considered to be Hydrocarbon. In that, there are three major families of hydrocarbons so the name itself says it is carbon and hydrogen the name itself says it is carbon and hydrogen it contains only carbon and hydrogen in this there are three families now first let us study the family of alkanes here alk corresponds to one part uh, the name in the name of this alk is one part an is another part what these parts are let us see that right now here to name this all uh, this compounds that is alkanes are uh, in general organic compounds with IUPAC that is International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry has put forth certain rules for naming all the organic compounds. This is the body which is looking after the rules and regulations to name the compounds. Right Now in this the naming ceremony are being done with the help of this IUPAC guidelines. Now let us see what the guidelines are. So let us take this example that is alkanes. Alkanes general formula is Cn H2n plus 2. Now here n corresponds to number of number rather n corresponds to the integers it could be 1 2 3 4 etc if n is equal to 1 c1 h 2 into 1 is uh, 2 plus 2 that is ch4 so that will be the first member of this family that is alkane how these compounds are named what is the conditions for the naming ceremony let us see that let us see the rules for the naming of the organic compounds like in our trivial systems the name has two words one is a main that is a root word main part is a root word and the surname that is suffix root word and suffix suffix is nothing but the surname say we have in our trivial system narayana gauda narayana kamat narayana reddy Ra gauda kamat reddy are the family's name name of the families now it is a surname of the family and that will tell the rituals or the practices they have that will tell the uniqueness of that material suffix will give the family name the family name will tell the function of that family that it will tell the behavior of that family it will tell the attributes of that family so name will have two words mainly root word plus suffix in some cases along with the root word and suffix there will be prefixes what are the prefixes what that is let us see that so in general name will have two components root word and suffix in some cases there will be a prefix to this root word and suffix right let us see that right say so for example if i take narayana goda it could be patel narayana goda patel is the prefix now let us uh, discuss in detail now how to name this how to know the root word and also the suffix now to know the root word and the suffix in the organic compound so for that to find out the root word we have to select the longest possible carbon chain what we have given here is a condensed formula but that has to be expanded and that form from that we have to find out the longest possible carbon chain by knowing the longest possible carbon chain in that possible chain how many number of carbons are there that will give the root word the number of carbon in the longest chain corresponds to the root word if it contains one two three etc what will be the root word let us see that the number this root word corresponds to number of carbon in the longest possible chain longest possible carbon chain now after that so for this will give the number of carbon suffix is the family name so to know that we have to know the functional group present in the compound identify the 
functional group in the chain in this la selected longest possible chain what is the functional group we need to find out the functional group in the longest chain of the carbon so that from that we can get the surname that is suffix so root word plus suffix is the name of the compound let us see if number n is equal to 1 then it will be the formula c1 h21 plus 2 then the condensed formula is ch4 so here all the elements right they are with condensed into written in the form of the number of car uh, carbons and elements together and if i expand this structure right if i write the complete structure showing all the bonds present there carbon is connected to four hydrogen atoms right so this is a tetrahedral molecule this is the complete structure whereas this is the condensed structure this is the complete and this is the condensed structure from this if i take the number now here it has only one carbon atom in this chain the longest chain is only one that is the only one carbon which is there then the root word for meth uh, root word for one carbon is meth meth is the root word and it has only single bond the name is the suffix is in surname is in so meth is the root word this is the one right and the suffix for this is in so thus the name of the ch4 or this structure is methane meth plus in root word plus suffix right this is the uh, naming of the compound containing one carbon if it has two carbons then the condensed structure is c2h6 or if i expand this will also be condensed structure ch3 ch3 are the uh, structure of the formula of this molecule if i write the complete structure connect this carbon with the other carbon through a single bond and ch3 to each side of it so this will be the complete structure if if this is the chain this is the chain from here to here is the longest chain it contains one and two two carbon atoms root word for this is eth root word for this is eth and between carbon and carbon nature of bond the functional group present there is single bond thus thus for that the suffix is in so eth plus n is the name of the compound at this root word n is the suffix now this has to be expressed in the form of bond line structure to do that connect uh, write uh, two dots corresponding to two carbon atoms one dot another dot connect that that will be the bond line structure one dot another dot corresponds to a number of carbon atom that gives the bond line structure if the number of carbon is a 3 now here in this bond line structure this end is ch3 if open end is there that means it is a ch3 group so that you should know that okay if the number of carbon is 3 the formula condensed formula c3 h8 or it is also written as ch3 ch2 ch3 and the complete structure showing all the bond is this one carbon connected to another by single bond that uh, that that is connected to other again through the single bond and show all these bonds three here two hydrogens here at the center three here so this will be the longest chain from here to here it's the longest one single line okay in this one two three carbon atoms are there for that root word is probe root word is probe and the nature of bond between the carbon is single bond functional group is the one which contains only carbon carbon single bond for that suffix is a thus the name of the compound is a prop plus n prop plus n propane is the name of the compound so this is the name by uh, these are the names naming um, by IUPAC nomenclature IUPAC nomenclature is this methane ethane propane if we write the bond line structure how many carbons are there three carbons are there write the carbons in a zigzag manner write the dots sorry write the dots in a zigzag manner one dot another dot third dot connect those one two three that gives the structure of propane yeah, that is the bond line structure of the propane here these two are open ends are ch3 the middle one right this bent portion is ch2 group that is ch2 group this one central one okay now if the number of carbon is four right 
so then the structure is C4H10 and this is also a condensed structure. Now open the complete structure of this is connect all the bonds and all the carbons through single bond and then and have four bonds on each allot these hydrogen atoms. So this chain contains one, two, three, four, four carbons are there on a longest chain four carbons if it is there then the root word for that is but nature of bond between the carbon atom is single bond functional group is single bond for that suffix is n thus the name of this compound is but plus n butane butane is the na IUPAC name of this compound then how to write the bond line structure how many carbons are there four carbons are there write four dots one two three Four, connect them 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 you can write it as 1 2 3 4 also both are right right we can start from bottom or the top okay this is butane now this is ch3 ch3 these two are ch2 group this as well as this is ch2 group here yeah? then if the number of carbon is 5 then it could be written as c5 h 12 or this is also a condensed structure ch3 ch2 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 ch3 or ch3 ch2 three times and ch3 and connect all the carbons through a single bond right after that the here we found the one two three four five carbon atoms are there in a longest chain so number of carbon in the longest chain is five root word for that is spent nature of bond for between the carbon is single bond so when it is single bond suffix is in so pent in is the name of the compound again uh, bond line structure is this one two three four five dots connect them one two 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 three three to four four to five so this is the bond line structure likewise now as i told you this structure could be written as ch3 ch2 twice uh, or uh, twice ch3 or ch3 ch2 ch2 and ch3 so if the number of carbon is six then it is x is the root word and a n would be the suffix x n hept if it is 7 number of carbon in the side to straight chain or longest chain is 7 hept 8 oct 9 non 10 deca so corresponding alkane is x n heptane octane non n decane so this is how naming is been done uh, by IUPAC nomenclature by following the uh, conditions rules and of IUPAC these compounds that is alkane families are being named so alkane family has root word plus not only alkane family all the compounds will have basically root word plus suffix as the main name of the compound and this may have some prefix till now we have seen the nomenclature of alkanes in a straight chain hydrocarbon right if there are branches in the compound how to name those let us see uh, it through this uh, IUPAC nomenclature right so let us take this example in this example right the chain has uh, CH3 two times CH, CH2, C, CH3 and to this you have CH3 here and C4H9. So first thing which has to be done here is open the condensed structure to show each carbon separately. So all these to be shown separately CH3 two times and C4 to be shown separately in the group and then select the possible carbon chain right. So the chain has to be selected after expanding. Since this is alkane this could also be an alkane group right or alkyl group now to check that let us verify is this an alkane or alkene or alkyne so if that is the case right now first alkane's general formula is cn h2n plus 2 here n is equal to 4 4 c4 h2 into n that is 4 2 into 4 is 8 8 plus 2 is 10 so that means c4 h10 is the corresponding alkane since it is already bonded to this carbon one hydrogen has been removed from this alkane group so as a result i will be getting c4 h10 instead of 10 minus h means h9 c4 h9 so this is alkane and this is and this would be alkyl group c4 means but butane butane is the alkane and if i remove one hydrogen this will be butyl group now let us uh, split this and write 
now here ch3 two times has been separated this ch3 is connected to this ch group so one ch3 is written on the left hand side other one on the top then third the next one is this ch2 that is here this cch3 is written here on a straight chain so this is just lion chain okay this is the not long chain this is the chain that is given given here and this one is ch3 and this in turn connected to c4h9 that is butyl group that butyl group is expanded one two three four uh, carbon atoms so nine is four two plus two plus two six plus three h9 c4h9 this is the structure right correct structure of the um, material now i have to select from this i have to select the longest possible carbon chain so when i say it's like straight uh, a chain or longest chain it need not be single line like this right it could be start from here to end up to this one two three four five six seven eight one end to the another end there is no break right so that is there is no crossing right okay this is the chain that has been chosen in this how many carbons are there one two three four five six seven eight carbons are there okay now we let us see all possible carbon chains in this structure now the next possible carbon chain eight we have already chosen next chain is from here now here when we are choosing the uh, uh, guideline is the terminal group should be ch3 and ch3 right so to, in all case the terminal has to be ch3 and ch3 so there are one two three four five ch3s are there right so from one ch3 to another ch3 the line has to be drawn right okay that should that will be the chain okay now here that line which is drawn is one two three four five five carbons are there on this chain next possibility is this ch3 to this ch3 one two three so i have started from here one two three four five six seven eight that first one second one which i have taken is one two three four five and here um, five carbons in this chain in this there are three carbons one two three now third possible next possibility is from this ch3 to this ch3 one two three four five five carbons are said they are in it okay now to uh, see other possibilities now let me write the structure once again now here i have started from this carbon or the this carbon to this if i start from here let us see what will happen so if i start from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 carbons so this or this both will have 8 carbon atoms so first i started from this and that to here that is first uh, eight carbon now i started from here and ended on this so that has become uh, eight next if i start from here and end up here so here i started from here and end up there so if i start from here one two three four five same number of carbon now earlier i started from here ended up there so that has given five carbon now i start from here and end up here one two three four five so if i end up this also as the five carbon now here i started from here and end up, end up there it has given three now again one two three there is another possibilities this has three three carbon atom then i started from here and end here right if i do that right so next if i do that from here to this number of carbons are 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 carbons are there so there are uh, two chains uh, with 8 now 1 2 3 4 5 chains so uh, four chains with 5 two chains with the 3 and one with the 6 so totally there are nine possible chains are there so out of which the longest one is a the one which contains eight carbon either you can choose this carbon or this chain or the one which is shown here in this green color either red or green both will be good so uh, i always avoid the more branch more crossing right okay so i take this okay this is the one which has been chosen here for the longest possible chain so i will choose this one right so from here to here right so when i choose that it has eight carbon so this is the main chain that has been chosen so the longest the uh, chain which has been chosen has eight carbon so select the root word for the carbon chain containing eight carbons the root word for this is oct oct is the root word for eight carbon next find out know the functional group or nature of bond present between carbon and carbon so if you write this if you see this 
all will have single bond single bond single 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 so the nature of the bond present between the carbon and carbon is single bond no other than that there is no other functional group the functional group is only carbon carbon single bond which is a feature of the alkane no specific functional group but nature of bond between the carbon and carbon is single bond so for a carbon carbon single bond the suffix is an so the suffix for this is an then the main chain it has the name octane so this is an octane compound it is a compound which contains eight carbon and for that hydrocarbon the name is octane octane is the name next i need to know on this what are the groups which are present on the side chain there is one ch3 another ch3 and there is another one right so there are ch3 groups which are present there are three ch3 groups are present there the name of them are right how to name the ch3 if the carbon has ch4 if the compound has ch4 then it is methane if i remove one hydrogen then it become ch3 so this ch3 is methyl this is methane and this would be methyl so this is methyl 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 so there are methyl groups present how many one two three are present there octane has three methyl groups so there are on this octane chain there are three methyl groups so number the chain then after this once you know this number the chain uh, from the nearest ends of the substituents that is this methyl groups so what is the nearest end so after we know the main chain and also we identify the side chain which is present there so then how many are there that is also known and what is there that is also known what is there methyl is there how many are there three methyl groups are there so now we have to number the carbon chain from the nearest end of the substituent that is methyl group so that is which is there on the group so here if i consider this now if i consider this uh, which has more number of substituent normally we give preference to the carbon which contains more number of substituent okay one well, actually this is one okay if i take this one two three four five so this becomes fifth carbon if this one if i take this this is the nearest end one two this will be second carbon so i number it like this first let me number it uh, like this so for this this is the nearest end so i have chosen ch3 as the group and this is the nearest nearest end if i choose that this will be 2 methyl and this is 4 methyl and another methyl right okay how i do this okay there is there are methyl groups on second carbon fourth carbon and also another fourth carbon of this octane chain then name these methyl groups as a prefix to the octane name these uh, groups as a prefix to the octane how to name this so first the name of the longest chain is octane name of the longest chain is octane then the suffix then these prefixes are so i know this this is root word this is uh, suffix then how to name this we have to name the substituent in such a way that all the positions of this substituent on the octane are been numbered numbered from the nearest end after that you have to name all the groups which are present there if i name that so this is on second what is there two methyl group is there next this one this is on which carbon four on fourth carbon it is there and this one this is on which carbon it is on fourth carbon it is there so four methyl on this octane or on this octane how to name this now between the numbers and the letter right uh, number and the letter there has to be hyphen so two dash methyl for this this is and after that from the as i mentioned from the letters uh, the words to the number there must be a hyphen or a dash so after two dash methyl they have methyl groups on fourth position so from this letters or words to this four right dash again another dash for this methyl group that is this then dash four on fourth there is methyl that i have written then octane so this is the name of this compound now after this see this there are one two three as methyl group is, re is repeated three times right so it has repeated thrice so these can be re written rewritten as 
trimethyl 1 methyl another methyl dimethyl then this one is trimethyl so that means it is written as these prefixes are to be written as trimethyl with the positions are written before that trimethyl so then if i write that then the actual name would be 2 comma 4 comma 4 1 methyl dimethyl and trimethyl 244 dash trimethyl as i told you between numbers and the words there has to be a dash or hyphen so this would be 244 take out those numbers and write to uh, and separate by comma 2 comma 4 4 comma 4 then dash trimethyl octane is the name of this compound so this is the name of this compound so if you identify the constituents here root word is octa uh, suffix is in corresponds to cc single bond and these prefixes are the 244 trimethyl so name will have or may have uh, prefixes uh, but it will definitely have root word and prefix, uh, root word and suffix so the name of this uh, compound is 244 trimethyl octane is the name of this compound so this is how uh, side chain are uh, named or uh, named with the number so if the alkane has the side chain or if it is branched then those branchings are to be named with appropriate numbering so this is the proper way of numbering and naming of the compounds by IUPAC system right so let us see some more examples right in the next case so till now we have seen the nomenclature of straight chain hydrocarbon branch chain hydrocarbon now let us see uh, how to write the complete structure if IUPAC name of the compound is given so for, for this to write the complete structure here as you know in name will have root word suffix and prefix so in this uh, compound we have written all the three groups in different color so first and foremost thing that you have to do is identify the root word root word in this uh, compound is pent pent is the root word so this is the root word for of for this compound so pent is the root word pent stands for pent i five carbon atoms it stands for five carbon atoms so then what you have to do write five carbon atoms in a row one two three four five right after writing five carbon atoms then know the suffix so pent corresponds to root word root word corresponds to the basic skeleton basic skeleton has five carbon atoms so this has been written one by the side of other by in, in between the carbon there has to be a small line that is a dash c dash c dash c dash c dash right so here this line indicates single bond very basic essence uh, while writing the structure is when you write the carbon you have to separate by a line that indicates the single bond that is a primary bond which will always be there with the other carbon atom one with the other carbon or other uh, especially in alkenes it is between the carbon atoms i mean other co compounds it is with the other elements it will be it will be there right so since uh, an is the suffix so single bond cc single bond has already been shown here so a root word has been accommodated and also suffix is also been known right then number this carbon chain number one two three you can number it from either left hand side or right hand side so three four and five while writing please write on the left hand top corner of the carbon so this will give the basic skeleton of pentane right then after this what you have to do is you have to identify the prefix no the prefix this is the prefix so the prefix is 223 trimethyl is the prefix now you have to accommodate this trimethyl groups in the pentane so since it is a alkane all the carbon in the compound when the structure will have four bonds four single bond would be there on all the carbon atoms so if that has to be written and at the same time you have to know what this methyl group methyl group is nothing but one hydrogen removed from the corresponding alkane methyl comes from methane from methane if you remove one hydrogen this gives the methyl this is the structure so how many methyl groups are there three methyl groups are there so from a methane you get methyl alkane alkyl so now what you have to do you have to accommodate this to accommodate that 
straight bonds above and below of all carbons which are there in the basic skeleton of pentane uh, so that total number of bonds on each carbon should be 4 total on each carbon should be 4 so on this one carbon one bond is there so remaining 3 4 minus 1 is 3 so 3 1 2 3 to be shown here carbon has one bond and another bond so bond associated with this is 2 but there has to be 4 on it 4 minus 2 is 2 1 on the top other one is on the bottom similarly 3 2 bonds are there 1 on the top other one at the bottom here also 2 bonds are there 4 minus 2 is 2 1 bond on the top another bond on the bottom here on the fifth carbon there is only one bond 4 minus 1 therefore is the maximum one of, um, number of bonds that are to be present in alkyl of or the carbon of, of a carbon is 4 4 minus 1 is 3 so 1 is there 1 2 3 that has to be written that is written here it is written there right so after writing this i have to accommodate the methyl groups the tri stands for three three methyl groups are there which means these three methyl groups are present on second again on second and third carbon of the al alkane that is pentane so write that so you have to write that on second one methyl another second another methyl third saga carbon another methyl so this is the structure of this so in the uh, what the, the trimethyl pentane right so of course though it is this has accommodated a root word a pellet basic skeleton now remaining vacant positions are to be filled with the hydrogen so at all these points 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 write the hydrogen fill that with hydrogen this methyl corresponds to this structure this CH3 corresponds to this bond. This C will have CH3 hydrogen here, hydrogen on the left hand side, and on the top right. So, this is what it is. This will be a CH3. So, this is the actual structure, complete structure of 2 to 3 trimethyl pentane. Now, let us see the bond line structure. This is the complete structure where all the bonds are shown. Of course, CH3 has not been shown. This corresponds to this. That has to be written here, here, and as well as here. Right? So, this will be here. Now, bond line structure is very simple to write that. How many carbons are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Write 5 dots. To write the 5 dots, I write 2 lines. Okay? That is, okay. Then, I will write for 5 dots. 1. Next, move to the right. On the top, another one. Next, bottom, th more, third one. The top fourth one then fifth one so that all are at the center this is at the center of it this is at the center of these two and this is at the center of these two okay then connect the lines one to two two to three three to four four to five that is the basic skeleton after this number the carbon chain like that is like this one two three four five so after numbering write this group ch3 where it is on the second carbon come to this second point so this is one ch3 this ch3 is written as this end is ch3 actually if open end is there that means it is a ch3 ch3 is nothing but one line right one dot here dash here that is one methyl group that is this second one on the opposite side that is another ch3 so these two ch3 is written and third one ch3 is there do not write it here and this should not be written like this it has to be to the bottom so pull it down so this is another ch3 this ch3 these two ch3 are been accommodated here now if you look at this this is more closer to that it is almost like a cube right so when that is close to one another there will be repulsion so molecular rearrangement takes place this will be pushed to the bottom whereas this to the top this four will come down three will move up as it moves up then the bond line structure would be look at this four has come down three has moved up and as a result this has this uh, one two carbon this is almost uh, what uh, a cross like structure moves up so this is the bond line structure for two two three trimethyl pentane now let us do some exercise uh, write the IUPC names of the compound so what you have to do is you have to write the IUPC name condensed structure is given for that you have to write the IUPC names 1 2 3 4th one 5th one okay in this case 
look at this it is a completely condensed structure so here it has to be expanded like this here 1 2 3 4 ch to 4 times actually this is ch3 ch to 4 times up to this and ch3 whereas here ch2 is repeated eight times so it has to be expanded while uh, before or uh, starting name uh, start writing the name of for this compound okay now here bond line structure is given you have to write the names for this now you have to write the bond line structure like this for these compounds where whose name is given okay so that has to be written now complete structure this is a condensed structure bond line structure name is given write the bond line structure and now you have to write the complete structure that means each bonds carbon hydrogen bonds and also prefixes are to be shown shown properly so these are the questions right now let me walk alert to you, let I, let me walk you through the, the general formal of a general process for the naming of the compound if name is given given how to write the structure so for that find the root word first step second write the root word car uh, root word carbons in the uh, row if it is uh, only one carbon root word is math one carbon two uh, yet two carbons so right you have to write the two carbons in a row right then know the suffix so for alkane it is in uh, alkenes it is in alkenes it is wine so the now since we are working on the alkenes it is carbon carbon single bond then number the carbon chain always better to number the carbon chain that will also confirm the whether you have written the exact number of root word or carbons corresponding to the root word right and then know the prefix if at all prefix of any other groups other than carbon hydrogen right which is uh, 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 corresponds to the root word if at all any other groups is there so that will be named as a prefix so what name which group is present so that will be known by numbering from the nearest end of the carbon chain of the root word right okay root word and as well as uh, suffix suffix will give the rod name will have root word plus suffix and also there are some cases there may be prefix so if name is given this is how you have to write the structure so if structure is given write the name so here once again if at all any structure is given right like this you have to expand the condensed structure so open the condensed structure then choose the longest possible chain right so choose when you stretch it will come to know how many carbons are there in a chain note down the number of carbons that gives the root word after that find out the functional group or the carbon whether what type of bond is a single bond or double bond or triple bond so that will give the suffix so once you know the name uh, root word and suffix that gives the basic name of the compound there may be some other groups other than uh, which we have not considered here either for the suffix or for the uh, root word so then you have to name it as a prefix right so if some words some groups might not have been considered either for the longest chain or for the suffix then you have to name it right so while naming it uh, you have to number it from the nearest end of the functional group or the substituent so this is how numbering name will be done uh, on the basis of uh, structure of the compound so if structure is given this is the systematic way of approach to the name if uh, name is given this is the, this is the systematic way of uh, writing the structure of the compound right okay now you have another important note that you have to uh, remember is if more than one carbon is written together in an alkyl group right okay then split it to get the groups containing one carbon single carbon on each set of elements or group of elements so here c3h7 will have will be has to be expanded as ch3 ch2 ch2 here in this group ch3 group one carbon is there in this ch2 group one carbon in this ch2 one carbon so see that one carbon is there in each right okay so that is how it has to be expanded pentane of course for this uh, again repeat the uh, way of writing the bond line structure right okay first write uh, one two three four five dots connect the dots okay and uh, number it and connect the dots so this gives the pentane so this is a two to three trimethyl pentane that is also been done so this exercise has already been done uh, earlier right okay so these are all the methyl groups always the open end are the methyl groups okay now exercise set uh, two so here uh, write the complete and bond line structure of the following right so okay Stru name is given you have to write the complete structure showing each bond and the bond line structure is only lines okay and for this compound three four dimethyl heptane 
थ्री इथेल फोर फॉर डायमिथेल सो इथेल इज नथिंग बट फ्रॉम इथेन यू रिमूव वन हायड्रोजन दॅट बिकम्स इथेल देन राईट द यू पी सी नेम्स ऑफ द नेम्स अँड बॉन्डलेन स्ट्रक्चर फॉर द फॉलोइंग राईट ओके वॉट इज द यू पी सी नेम फॉर दिस यू आर राईट अँड ऑल्सो बॉन्डलेन स्ट्रक्चर फॉर दिस कंपाउंड राईट ओके then uh, write the upc names for the following questions so upc names to be written so bondless structures are given so for this you have to write the upc name right so this is how the nomenclature uh, could be known from the compound so if you have solved these problems definitely you will have a idea about naming the compound open chain structures of alkanes right yes in this video we are discussed on a uh, rules for ipc rules for the naming of organic compounds basically all kinds right okay and that the name will have root word suffix and prefix right so basically it will have root word and uh, suffix and some case it will be having a uh, prefix as well right so you know the names of uh, naming of organic compounds naming ceremony been done for acyclic hydrocarbons that is uh, all kinds right so this is the complete structure this is the bond line structure if you have any questions on the nomenclature please submit to me in the comment section i'll come back to you thank you please subscribe to my channel thanks a lot